which is turn red. Okay, so here's me. There's about a three second delay between what I show and when you see it, so I'll, I'll know to allow for that. Um, I'm only going on the video camera <laughs> right now just to show you that I'm wearing this headset because I'm a, a quieter speaker even than Keith and uh, this is a very easy solution to the not having to shout across the room uh, problem. But that's the end of me. I'm going to switch back to my other screen. And sound should still be working. Thanks Tom. Alright, so I'm going to be going over, uh, towards the end I'll be going over how to use the reading of image data as a way to do collision detection and it's useful for other things as well. Um, but I'm going to start off with, I'll show a little bit of what I've done in the past so you know the kind of stuff that I'm, I'm knowledgeable about. Uh, it's definitely not Rev Server, that's for sure. And then I'll actually go through the basics of how the image data works and I'll show you another application for that. So with that said, I'll start I'll start some bragging first, I guess. Um, I've, I was working at Apple uh, in tech support in England for four years from about October 1987 till uh, January 92. And that was the same time that Apple were launching into multimedia. So I was in on the team at Apple that launched Apple into multimedia. And I was using HyperCard since I joined the company in October 87, which is only two months after it was released. So I've been using HyperCard for a very long time. Um, and through being the multimedia person, I got to know the Voyager company people. When their, the head of the company would come over and do presentations, I would be the tech support person at the event. And so I, I used to go on vacation to Santa Monica, where the office was, and uh, I would just hang out at the beach and, and also do bits of hypercard programming for them. Uh, and that eventually led to me working on software for what was called the Expanded Books. And that was done during 1991, while I was still working for Apple in England, uh, but I was on vacation at the time that I was doing the work. Uh, and Voyager um, arranged for me to get a work permit uh, to go and actually work for them. So although I actually planned on retiring at Apple, because I like Apple. Uh, Voyager was just about the only other company on earth that I would want to go to work for. So I did. And so in the beginning of February 1992, I moved to Santa Monica to carry on working for, for Voyager on Hypercard stuff. By that time, the first three expanded books were already out. And they were uh, n complete books on floppy disks done in Hypercard just for the Mac and the first ones were released in Macworld in 1992, so just before I actually moved. And those first three titles were uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which came out before it was on paperback. Um, no, no I'm, I said the wrong title there. Jurassic Park was one of them. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and The Annotated Alice by Martin Gardner. So those are the, f the first three launch titles. So this f this picture you're seeing on the screen is just some images from from those titles. That that um, kept me busy. Well, apart from the books themselves, which we did about sixty of them, I uh, wrote the uh, uh, me and another programmer wrote the expanded books uh, toolkit, which was a, a toolkit where you could create your own expanded books to then sell and that took us about six months to do so that was through till about August of 1992. After that I started working on the CD-ROM side of things and one of the first things I did was A Hard Day's Night which uh, was it was kind of an ambitious thing because it, it was like a coffee table book just a hypercard stack with uh, the text um, of the, the, the script 
from the movie and some biography things and so on but it, it also 